Okay, it's not uncommon to get nervous on race day or even maybe have some superstitions and the pros are no different. So today I'm going to be asking them whether they have any superstitions and if they get nervous on race day and if so, how they deal with it. Um, uh, 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 oh yeah, I do. Do you have any pre-race superstitions? Um, yeah, I mean, normally I have to get my hair in French plaits, so if I don't do that, then uh, so I've got to find a hairdresser that can do that. Well, probably not superstitions, but uh, routine, yeah, just um, uh, stick to a plan. It, um, it just helps yourself not, you know, getting too nervous and yourself. Okay, Kaiser, do you have any pre-race superstitions? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I always have the same coloured uh, nail polish in my nails. It's like that kind of... Um, a Turgos, you could say I've been using the same color since 1998, so that's maybe the biggest one. And then I have a star-shaped pin in my hair always, so yeah. Yeah, I, I like to have a very, very short and race pace testing. So it's like uh, in the run it's like 20 seconds race pace and there's sometimes some repeats. Okay. And on the bike also like 1K race pace testing and that's it okay. but all, all, the rest is all very easy and it's just the last test and to wake up the legs and yeah get ready for for the big day and, yeah eat chocolate <laughs> i like that one <laughs> to get a lot of energy because it's a long day so i like to eat one or two chocolates day before <laughs> oh, oh yes i have chocolate the night before i have a bit of a routine of plans of lists and stuff but it's probably the save you know have a bit of chocolate the night before, it's probably my pre-race. I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, you know, no, I don't think I do. Not like right shoe on before the left shoe or anything? No, like that. no, I don't do anything like that. I just uh, try to stay happy. Uh, no, I don't think I do. I, I always check my skewers. You know, it doesn't matter how many times I've I've, I've checked my bike and everything in track. The last thing I do before I leave transition is I always just one last time just make sure they're tight. Okay, James, do you have any pre-race superstitions? Uh, no, I'm not superstitious at all. Uh, I, I used to like get really anal about what I ate and everything, and I've actually found that the more I relax about it, the less I think about it, the more. So sometimes it's pizza, sometimes it's pasta. Sometimes, there are no real superstitions, no real set goal, set uh, routine, because set routines fall apart, and then you go to the race and you're all stressed out because you missed, I don't know, tying your left shoelace before your right shoelace? Uh, yes, I have a lot of them actually, to be honest. And uh, I always have my rituals. I'm really well known about my rituals that like the day before the race, I will go in a bath with my special bathing oils and salts and stuff. I have a ton of those. So yeah, let's not start about that because we will be standing. Just, just one more. <laughs> One more. Uh, I will always um, go to bed really early and do like massage. I'm a good massage therapist, so I massage my legs and I put my compression socks on and then I have like do like a mental thing and then yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I don't have any superstitions. I have a lot of routines and I control what I can, but um, I think fate deals with you what it feels like. I think that you can't control what you can't control, so I just. I roll with the punches, as they say, and um, control what I can, but let go what I can't. Are you the sort of person that gets nervous on race day? And if so, how do you deal with it? Well, usually I stay focused or try to stay focused. And yeah, there's there are sometimes some challenges coming around, uh, some unexpected, uh, but it, uh, as long as you can can fix them and you have time to fix it, that's that's okay. And then you just have no, if you know what you ha can do, and if you have, you just need to know anybody you can call if you need some help, uh, and that's then you can can fix it and and make it to the race. I actually am. I mean, a lot of people are asking me because I think it's my like 30th Ironman and people think I don't get nervous. And I think last two nights my stomach is just like in a knot and I have a huge butterflies. And I'm thinking like, why the hell I'm doing this? Can I do it? So I think it's the same for everyone and it never disappears. You know, I do. And I just can't wait for the warm up. 
you know, I mean, when I'm nervous, it's a good thing. It means that I care, you know, that it means that I'm there to race. It means that I'm there to, you know, I'm ready to do a good performance. And and how I deal with it, I tend to do a longer warm up. You know, I just I just want to get on the, and it's it's been all from rowing. You know, I was exactly the same. I just couldn't wait to get on that lake 30 minutes before, start your warm up routine. Uh, same with the time trial. Couldn't wait to get on the rollers and get going. So. Yeah, that hasn't changed, and that, that's how I deal with it. I just, um, yeah, there's no point. You can't fight it. You can't fight the jitters. They're there, but uh, I find once I'm once I'm, I'm moving, yep. you know, I'm good. If you're the kind of person that gets nervous on race day, how do you deal with it? Normally just put on some good music, try and chill out to that. I'm a nervous. I just I throw up three or four times, a, you know, in the morning, and uh, I'm just kidding. I, I get, I get kind of nervous. It depends on the race, you know. Um, I just... But, you know, I've been doing this so long, it's it's just, you know, it's like same old, same old. Wake up, have my oatmeal, and uh, hang out with the family if they're awake. Usually they aren't, so I'm trying to be quiet, and um, and then just, just get ready. Yeah, like, I used to get, like, super duper nervous, and the normal thing for me on race morning is just to cry and be like, I just can't even go to the start line. But, yeah, now during the last years I've been able to learn to handle my nerves a bit better because I think like for these Ironman dis distances you just can't use too much energy even before the race so. Oh yeah of course I mean not only on race day actually I think the whole week and especially today I, I always take it as something positive because um, it still tells myself that that it still means something to me this race you know if I would not be nervous anymore then it's just probably a time to uh, look for a different job I guess so uh, yeah just think it's something positive. Um, I Probably the week two weeks leading up to the race I go through kind of a roller coaster of nerves anxiety and then that nerves is excitement and I'm super fired up and then I'm like carrying away again and going oh shit. Um, race morning yeah I will be nervous but you know it's you kind of accept it's natural it's what happens it's you getting ready it's your body getting ready to race it's you mentally getting ready to race um, I, like I said, I have lists, so that kind of keeps me pretty process focused, and that helps to keep me calm and like, in the in the moment rather than getting too too nervous and out of control. <laughs> I actually don't get very nervous at all. Uh, obviously, there's uh, there's this you come to the press conferences and stuff, and you get this little surge of butterflies, um, but that generally goes away pretty quickly and I'm, I'm pretty relaxed all the way up until a few minutes before the gun. Um, I don't really, I, I sleep well the night before, I don't really stay up the whole night sweating or anything like that. Um, generally not that nervous actually. Um, I definitely still get nervous. I, I think I more call it just like a, my homestead calls it peacefully intense. She's like, you're not nervous, but I can tell that you're, you're getting ready. Um, so I think that's just only natural, but and uh, I don't try to calm it down too much because that, to me that's just like my body getting ready to go. But um, yeah, so I, I welcome them. <laughs> uh, yes, this will be my 40th long distance race and I think I've done like 200 half distance races and then we're not counting all the Olympics and I still get nervous for every single race. Even the smaller races, I get goosebumps and butterflies and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't go away. Okay, and you don't haven't figured out a way to deal with it, you just... No, but the good thing is that it comes like the really nervous stuff that uh, comes on race morning. So I will stay pretty relaxed and cool and like like I am now until race morning. And then it just <sighs> hits me. But I like to chat before. I like to chat with people to calm myself down. All right, we've had everything from chocolate to salt baths to simply embracing it. And I really think the takeaway point from this is that everyone gets nervous. And you're getting nervous for a reason because you've built up to this event, you've put a lot of training into it, and you're excited at the end of the day. Personally, I just used to get super quiet on race day. That was my way of dealing with it. We'd love to hear how you deal with your nerves and if you have any superstitions. So please drop them in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and to see more from GTN, just click on the globe and subscribe. Now, if you'd like to see more videos on age group mechanicals, then you can see that by clicking down here. If you'd like to see another Ask the Pros, just click down here.